Let's review what's new in ConnectWise Control 2019.2. First, we've added more session groups so you can organize and find your access sessions more easily. The new session groups are All Machines by Company, All Machines by OS, Outdated Clients, Host Connected, Guest Connected, Recently Accessed, and Offline. See our release notes for more details. Next, we've added new custom properties. In new instances, you'll see these fields when you edit an access session or build a new installer. The new custom properties are company, site, department, and device type. Use these custom properties to label your sessions and create new session groups. Third, links are now converted into clickable URLs in the Notes tab. Next, when you resize the columns of the host page, your changes will persist per device. You'll keep your custom column widths even if you switch from the administration page and back to the host page. On the security page, we've made some small changes to internal users. If a user has an associated email address, you can type the word email in the one-time password field. This will enable two-factor authentication for that user and will send one-time passwords to their email account. We've also added some validation in the one-time password field so you'll know if your key is formatted correctly. Finally, we've reduced the default number of password attempts. By default, the maximum number of invalid password attempts is 20. If you've kept this default, we've set it to 8. This way, a potential intruder has fewer chances to guess your password. For more information on this release, see our release notes at connectwise.com slash control docs. Thank you.